Miss L. Joe, Zeman Devs, welcome in. It's live. Orin Dragon, welcome in. Gonna check on the VOD, see if I can upload anything for you guys. Ah, nice, I can. Awesome, 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 awesome. Danger Hobo, welcome in. All right, that's for uh, 27 up, or day uh, 27th. For some reason, uh, YouTube's been a little bit slow with what they've been doing. Like, I wish I could actually get a guaranteed... Uh, it does on like a certain time, but it doesn't. It's weird.
Nearly finished my shopping as well, guys. So, uh, we can just get straight into the game. Yeah, no, I wanted to know that myself, dude. Good morning! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Michael the Dark Lawrence, and welcome to another episode of The Darkness here on Twitch. It's Friday, chat 29th. July 22, day 72 in a fucking row, and we have live, live, with some crazy amount of money, CIG, just want to point that one out, uh, but we're not going to let it gas down, because at the end of the day, whatever, you know, it's people buying ships, it's people buying modules. We still have to do a lot of farming for like the rail guns and all that jazz, which is why I'm mainly interested in with this patch. But yeah, that's very true about the the patches for the um, the skins and stuff like that. But I, I, my, anyway, let's well, nearly dilly dilly dally. So I still need to buy a few things for ships. I've got pretty much everything fit up. Gonna go hex, then meet up with everyone on comms. We're joined by the boys. They're all in here. We got Greg. We got Fresh. We got Puppeteer. We got Spit. So yeah, bit of gaming to do today. I hope everyone's well. Ready for the weekend. All that good stuff. I need to buy some missile launchers here that Greg said was in here. For the arrow. Let's have a look. Ah, lose control. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, nice, nice. So what do I need? I need... Let's just get 10 of these. I got a stupid amount of money. So I've just been like literally going ham with modules. This server is going to shit. How's your server puppeteer? It's amazing. Awesome. And we need... Which is this one? No, I don't need that. That's what I need. I guess hell though, this console. Anyone know how they calculate the... It's like a thousand per hour or something like that, apparently. But yeah, I think somebody fucking screwed up the old uh, number game devs. I think somebody added an extra zero by accident, you know what I mean? I just a quick log in this morning. It was so nice to see an empty 2% starting location. Mine is now like... 200% missile. <laughs> uh, is it okay if I add you, Puppeteer, so I can join your server? Yeah, man. Sure. Cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Alright. So we're gonna do these. They change out the missiles on. I got like 900. I, I bought like a thousand missiles. Why not, eh? Might as well have all this store, you know?
CIG, man. I swear to God, like, how the fuck <laughs> can they fuck up the numbers at times? Like, guys, our economy is so important to us. All right, guys, everyone, here is all the money that you would ever need to play the game. Good luck. Fucking awesome, man. Yeah, I'm interested to know about that fresh because we were meant to be getting them on the 25th and now we don't have them, you know, so it's like, if Alright, we're going to do this because of the arrow bug as well. Plus, I like the kind of firecracker loadout that I'm going for. Something multiplied by hours played, yeah. Add in an extra zero by mistake. That's how it kind of feels like, you know. I know the 200% game, but yeah, finally back to bless. Oh yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My starting location has that, that issue, you know. Well, somebody bought all the atlases in the world. I wonder who that could be. What? Was dark on your server? No, it wasn't me. Don't blame me. <laughs> Open your inventory uh, live on stream. <laughs> Dude, I've never loved Orison yet, alright? It's not me. <laughs> it may have been me. Maybe. But no, no, it wasn't me. You got 17 mil? Yeah, it's so silly. However, it lets people buy their ships again. Less complain, I would imagine. You know? It's whatever. It's the items that I'm more caring about. Alright, this is the most boring part of it, but I think I've got pretty much everything sorted. So, I did this like I was gonna go live an hour an hour ago but i was like you guys don't want to watch this shit so i've done as much as i could but obviously it's going to be a, a big issue if there's like all right guys we're going to have to reset again you know it does it takes me about an hour to fully do all my ships um but whatever We're nearly there. Then we'll get ourselves to Grim Hex and we'll be sorted out. So the Saber should be sorted. Yeah, it's going for now. Humor should be sorted. Just double check everything. Uh, Valiant, I need to change. Missile gameplay. So boring. Imbalance. I just didn't need to change the pioneers around on the first rack. It this way. Oh well, whatever. We're nearly there though. A bit more to go, chat. The joys, the joys. Like if they can make it where you can pre-save all this nonsense, like an information on an XML file, and then just load up, it'd be so dope. 
You know? Alright, we should be good with that one. That's the wrong drive, though. God, I'm cross checking, like. Save our. Oh, wow. This one wasn't done either. Again, this is why I cross check, like. View of the build's not sticking. Carthol should be good. Yeah, like I don't really want to spend too much time doing this. We can always come back if need be. All right, let's go. Grim Hex. They meet up with people. Get crime stamp. Start the killing, looting. Last time there was zero ammo for every gun left in New Babbage. Man, they need to remove the fucking safe zone in Grimhex. This warping out of the safe zone annoys me. Yeah, I know. Hard Armistice is disappearing next year, so just gotta you wait till then. You just have to go like 20 kilometers out from any station to warp. Well, you gotta remember, you're not gonna be able to warp through the Grimhex belt very soon either. That's getting removed. The new navigation system will not allow you to warp through an asteroid belt or a cluster of asteroids. You have to go around it now. Well, in the new system. For the map. Soon. Hey, Darknan. How you doing, Chief? Welcome in. we doing a lot of uh, Redeemer play purely because it's fixed, chat. Oh. God damn it. Still after that hike, my back is so sore, man. He da da he da. Never actually checked my reputation. Oh, it even carries the infinity. But Vaughn got reset. Alright. It's whatever, man. Like. I still think when you do stuff for Vaughn, this shit should go negative because, like, you're technically killing people. <laughs> for a hitman. But then you can be a part of that, you know? Alright, I'm leaving Orison now to go to Grimhex. And then we can start the chaos. Sounds good. Approaching next station. Is I'm gonna go to the menu. Alright. I mean, I'll be like 5-10 minutes, so... A bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast. Nice! What are you going for? What breakfast? Well, we have like... What are these? Buns? Like German Brötchen, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. All right. Providing connections to all major platforms. Let me actually see. Yeah, bun. It's called bun, apparently. And what are you and putting in the bun? I'm putting in um. Well, what's that called? Ah, uh, see. Sausage. Sausage yeah. in between the buns. Yes, uh, salami is that is that English? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a sausage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And yeah, I know what you're trying. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, immaturity's kicking out. Like, <laughs> dumb boy, dumb boy, putting that sausage in between her buns. Eh? Ooh, get that salami, out, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spread the gravy. Precious too old for these remarks. No way, man. No way. He's too young. Precious is like one of the youngest in the orc. It's like Jack, then uh, Fresh. <laughs> like 50... 53 million, Albert. And I pretty much spent a lot of time on PTU as well. Imagine if I'd never went on PTU, like. <laughs> you got six? That's pretty cool. I managed to get all my modules and I still have, like. I don't know how much here. 43 million, you know. Hey, Colin, how you doing, Chief? What the fuck is going on with my radar? What the fuck is that? You are clear to launch. Wonder if uh obviously not done any testing, so I wonder if they fix shield holes. I doubt it, but whatever. How's your day, the little going, Albert? Colin as well. Welcome in, guys. Hope you're having a good Friday. We've fitted all the ships, so we just need to move them to Grim Hex, and then it's just fucking into it. Not gonna buy any armor. Just gonna take off the dead. That's the place. Don't buy any weapons either. Just shoot them with ships, you know? Hey, I see. How you doing, Chief? I always thought the SDF shields are supposed to fix the shields. Um, right, so what the, the, the problem is though, I see, right? So ship, shield, and it sits like that. You know, the bubble goes around it or the, the mesh goes around it. What's happening is when you afterburner going forward in a certain thing, the shield is lagging. So the bubble or the mesh moves away and reveals the front of the ship or whatever area and stuff like that. So it's just... It's like it's desynced, basically. It's it's not a, like a whole hole that we had. It's basically the shield is moving when you move, you know? So it's like it's almost like it's not connected to the mesh correctly. And that's the only issue, you know? Lag, yeah. Because remember they've been working with like trying to hit, fi uh, hit registration and stuff like that. It could be a knock-on effect where as they fix Hicks registration... Because of where the pip is, it might be moving the shield or something like that, you know? Maybe they reduce the shield, update, mesh value to get more people on. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, man? But it's not a whole... It's not shield holes as it used to be. It's basically the mesh is moving. But, I mean, like, it's one of these things where it's like... One D6 thinks, but we get hit reg problems. You want hit reg problems fixed, we get shield hole problems. You know what I mean? It's it's like they should just rip the whole fucking system out and redo it again. It just doesn't seem to be working, but it might be something uh, basic, you know? Who knows, man? The funny thing is, though, there was one, uh, there was like a couple of PTU patches. I see where it was fixed. But the, the weird thing is shield, like, hit registration is also not really fixed, if you know what I mean. It's a weird one, like, it's so, it's like... Well, that's true. Again, it's like, if you remember, they had to get rid of Levski for Xenofret to work, you know? I don't really think they have to. I think it's just more, unfortunately... As I've been marketing uh, the game for a while now, um, everything's a placeholder, Icy Jones. You know what I mean? Like, 
They add something in and then they take like two years to flush it out, you know, sadly. Hey, Parak, how you doing? You super rich? Yeah, I started with 53 million boys and I spent like a good half of my time on PTU testing and stuff like that. So if I, I would probably be at like 100 million if I didn't go on PTU at all, so. But whatever, man, I got all my, sh like, I, I don't need to buy ships apart from maybe a Merlin. Um... I get my modules back. That I don't really care about that shit because again, you gotta look at it that once people have their ships, once people have their modules, there's no loss in that nonsense. Items and armor are what people care about. That's why they alt F4. It's not because they're losing their ship. They alt F4 because they don't want to lose their fucking fancy subscriber gear. So if you manage to get that shit, that's a win, you know? Railguns is where we're at, you know. I want to farm railguns, so again, whatever with the money. Um, I'll most likely move most of it over to my alt when I've logged in. The org account, basically. I won't play 372 either, I don't see the point. They wipe again. Like, again for me, wipes are not the, the big thing. Like, I, I, wipes give me content. It's not the money, it's the fact that I can go and farm armors and all these kind of things, you know. What would you recommend how to fight a Talon Shrike who is running away and over again? He tried to boost towards him, he spam missile at you? Warp away. Why are you wasting your time? Plain simple. Why are you wasting your time chasing somebody like that? Welcome to the ASOC if it's your bounty, well, that's on you. Brings, bring it so they can't warp away. Also, if they're spamming missiles at you, just whatever, like. Someone said in game they have like 30, 300 email. Yeah, because you were getting money from AFK in the menu as well, Blue. So, whatever. There's a big mark of armor right now. Yeah. Again, Icy Jones has the best mentality for it. Free 18. Hopefully CIG do it correctly. You know. There needs to be a full wipe. Not just uh, not just weapons and stuff like that. Full wipe. Database. Everything. No giving people money either, CIG. Just literally fucking wipe it down. That's the best way to do it. That's why when the final wipe comes in, I can't wait to watch how many people cry because it's going to be so mwah. When people are losing their modules, their items, their ships don't reclaim as fast and all that stuff. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait for that day. I'm literally going to have like 12 monitors behind me on the wall with different streamers watching them cry their tears into the screen. It'll be so good, man. It'll be so good. Hey, Gavin, go. I thought I would pop in before I go to work. I appreciate that, dude. Hope you have a good day at work when you have to go. This was really annoying. I was fighting against F8, Hammerhead, Mantis, Gemini, and Titan before I had a red engine on Mustang Alpha and ran. Well, uh, again, that's sort of the game, you know. Bring a friend and both in town strikes. Double spam, yeah. That's very true. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your insurance claim has been sent. Alright. Just pulling all the ships. Just one of them. But yeah, I would just use free seventeen two as just a meme play. We will be in free eighteen within three months time plus, and it's going to be in PTU for three months. So live literally becomes pointless. You know what I mean?
I'm actually looking forward to three months of PTU. Your insurance claim has been set. Someone figured out you could get 200k per hour spent. Your insurance claim has been set. Maybe we don't know, but maybe you received the money when you spent your time on PTU. I, I doubt it. You never know. Again, it's like whatever. A few people in my organization were expecting me to go off on a rant on it. And I don't, I don't, I literally don't care. We know that there's a wipe coming in free 18. So, I hope they just do a full wipe and no bullshit. You can hey, save thank you, me. <laughs> well, yeah, also you and Puppeteer. But it's, it's like I'm saying on stream, it's like, whatever, I know. Taking people's subscriber gear is way more fucking smack in their face than, you know, the other stuff. Hey, Space Nine, how you doing, Chief? They spoiled us this patch start. They did, yeah, yeah. They did. But it's like, whatever, you know? Whatever, guys. Just get on with it. Don't make it a big deal. Hopefully, CIG learned from it. That's it. Just go and have fun. Hopefully, it doesn't do. And that's it. Lifts are annoying so far. Well, again, they have increased the cap. And I'm pretty sure it'll have a knock-on effect. What's the problem? Uh, the only problem right now is that uh, people have got way too much money. Space 99. I literally started off with 53 million. You know. I literally have no reason to farm anything apart from tears. So instead of going and doing missions and stuff like that to make money, all I need to do now is just kill people again, you know? Which is not no different to me. Isn't their sub gear go away from your infantry if they reset their account? Uh, yeah, but it's the whole process of that they have to go and reset their account, and you can do that only 24 hours now, Blue Max, you know what I mean? Again, until we're at the final game, there's no way to actually, like, ruin somebody's game completely. And that's why when this game goes to no more wipes, that's when you know you're fucking ruining somebody's game. And that's when the evil line kiss comes in, you know? Because you know that somebody loses shit when that happens. And that's what we just have to wait for, you know? All these screenshot motherfuckers thinking that they're safe. They're not. At all. 50 million, can you receive the money for playtime on PT2? Who knows, man. Again, I played a lot on live. That's what you want to do. It doesn't increase gameplay actually that much. Just to let you know that, Space 99. Because most of the time, people are away doing things. Like, you're not going to get any more extra bounty hunters if that's what you're talking about, you know. It just means, like, again, until server meshing comes in, it's, it's, it's whatever, you know. Right, I'm going back to the menu, Fresh. Yeah, Fresh is a menu. I played over four hours per day and received 38 million. Just on PTU. Or live. You gotta remember, guys, that I played a lot of hours offline with Fresh on a uh, live server. It's in for you, Fresh. Yeah. Maybe they had That's a curve right. in there, like, that the more you played, the less you got. Maybe. Who knows? Ugh, server is full. I'll try joining now. 
it's interesting yeah, it does that like that means it's forcing us into servers so doing yeah. that whole pre-made thing won't work i like that i didn't play much alive when i started with 8.2 million i would rather have started with 120k which is what i expected again i'm i'm you've got to look at that they've either fucked up the numbers or they've um they've made it where less people cry about the wipe and stuff like that so whatever you know I, again let's roll back to what icy jones says 318 will be a wipe and they will do a full database wipe which means you're not getting any men money you're not getting any reputation you're getting everything taken from you and that is all we have to just wait for you know and that will be next year that it goes live but you've got to remember, like I said, PTU is going to be in PTU for three months. Three months. So there is no fucking point playing live. You just play PTU. You know? I had a hit a bit. Yeah, whatever, man. I think I will give it away. Yeah, do that, guys. OW, thank you very much for the follow, Chief. I missed that like 23 minutes ago. Yeah, give it away, do whatever, guys, you know. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle. Again, money is really not the issue. It's people's assets and time is all you target for. Um, what kind of setup do you want? You know, do you want to do roaming? Uh, I mean, we can try bunkers or whatever. I'm still trying to get on them. Welcome. All right. You want me to go back to menu? It's probably faster. All right. Four chance of larger ships with full crew at least? No. No space nine nine. Again, I, I, I don't think most people realize that 100 cap doesn't change the game at all. At all. All it does is make it for people like Captain Barracks and Tarada to get more people on to make more videos and stuff. That's it. It doesn't change any gameplay whatsoever, apart from pre-made, you know? So, hi, right, luncheon. Icarus, how you doing? Did that uh, take you in? Full again, this is so annoying. Yeah. I'll, I'll just try to join. No, 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 I'll, let's, uh, it's most likely taking back onto the same server. What to do is you go uh, find a separate server, I'll go back to menu and try and join you. Alright. Yeah. So again, like a hundred player server doesn't change anything. Everyone's like, oh, hundred player jump time? No. You're not going to see a hundred players on jump time. They've literally given everyone millions of money. Why the fuck could you go to jump time? You know? This is the problem. A lot of people literally have the fucking rose tinted goggles on all the time with this game and they don't actually understand it one bit. They think they do. They think they played enough hours. They think they streamed enough hours. They don't actually understand this game whatsoever. The only time this game will change is if there is reasons for people to actually do something. And right now, money and assets is not that, you know. Going to jump town with maybe 20 or 30 people in a fleet, cool beans, but you're not going to see somebody with 20 or 30 people there unless you do some sort of pre-made org versus org thing, you know. I've been spoiled a bit by Plant Side 2, Big Battles, 100 doesn't mean much. Well, again, like, like I said, it doesn't mean shit in Star Citizen because it only helps the pre-made kind of stuff, you know, where you, um... And do other things, you know. I'm gonna invite you guys to uh, the channel. You need to make a new QQP group, right? I'm literally doing that right now, bro. Oh yeah, I see.
Uh, do you actually need money, Icy Jones? I can send that to you, dude. If you need. From experience, I find that most people don't really understand this game. I don't even fully understand the game. The game is literally like EVE Online, where if you do not have some way of meshing people in, you will never have a populated game. Ever. In Star Citizen. So you can have a thousand people on a server, it won't change a goddamn thing. If there's no reason to play the game, it doesn't matter how many people you have. Again, like I said, this patch is really good for people like Captain Burks, Morphologist, Salty, anyone that's doing content that wants to make videos with big fleet battles or big low flying groups and stuff. That's what that will do to them. It allows them to make big, big groups. Um, but for people like myself, it won't change any organic gameplay, you know? That's a big thing. You know. So you'll do like org pre fights, you'll do these tournaments that everyone does, you'll be seeing people back in Arena Commander, all that kind of jazz. That doesn't uh that doesn't change, you know. But any organic gameplay does not increase unless they make it more uh favorable for somebody to do that. So there's no reason to do bounty hunting. There's no reason to do anything. If you've got over a couple of million, why the fuck play the game, you know? Unless you're going to go and rebuy your ships and stuff like that. But with the amount, you know, somebody was saying, uh, you know, they've got like 380 million. Blue Manx was saying, somebody in chat was saying that, you know? So whatever. You have to wait for a full database wipe and, and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so party markers don't work. Oh no, they do. Never mind. Under players' servers increase just means we see more players often. Yeah, but it doesn't change any gameplay loops. You know, that's that's the main thing that I'm trying to advertise. Is if bounty hunting is boring to do for players, it's still boring with 100 people. There just might be one extra person on the server that is into that shit, you know? That won't change until there's some sort of meshing added. Jump time with 100 people on the server, because there's no reason to farm money right now. Um, you might see an extra 5 people turn up, you know what I mean? It's not like you're gonna see 100 jump time battles, you know, you got Miss Gabby's and everyone fucking going, Oh my god, 100 fucking player jump time. No. You only ever see 100 player jump time if you fucking pre-form up 100 players on the server and go to jump time. But you could do that at any other fucking location, you know what I mean? That's the biggest thing with Star Citizen. It's always been, for the history of this game, all about fucking making fake events, you know? Everyone does it. Because it's a great way to fucking get content creators to boost their channels up by literally bringing in the mindless flock of seagulls to, and to find do that shit. anywhere. Third station in a row. Mmm. Just look it up. No, no, out of stock. Like, uh, oh my god. Gate campaign pyro might be interesting. There's not going to be any gate camping in pyro, guys. You're fucking having a, an absolute laugh if you think there's going to be a gate camp at fucking pyro. You will be coming out at random locations. And all that jazz, you know? Hmm, Starlifter. Yeah, but it will be full to the brim of swag, like... Maybe this is where we should have an Eclipse just now. Where is our Eclipse support? Yeah, I know. Do you think I should get one? Again, we're gonna see people moving all their assets across. I waste all the time, I would be there. Yeah, right, I'm gonna dock up, I'm gonna get the Eclipse. Fresh. We'll nuke everyone coming in with their, their shit from Orison. You're also not talking in this Yeah, yeah, I know, you know. I'll open it now, so you can hear me. I'm extremely confused about the wipe since I had my ships and money. 
Yeah, no. I've still got all my content creator ships, which is great. Again, you gotta look at that this wipe is really not a wipe at all. It's just a... a whatever, until 3.18. Again, they made fuck-ups in 3.17, 3.17.1 that caused database issues. They've tried to blanket with a fake wipe, you know. It's probably why um, people have got so much money and stuff like that. You probably never lost anything. They've just fixed the database and that's it. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Again, who cares? Vehicle really, who selected. cares? I still had a narrow dupe though, but whatever. Eh, whatever. Again, the the real wipe is in 318. Just fucking play until then. Your vehicle has been delivered to the a CIG should do a full, full database wipe, which I think they will do, you know. Yeah, we move forward as whatever, you know. Best thing is to just nuke shit when it comes to Grim Hex. <laughs> Whilst they've moved all their assets into their hauling ships, let's just fucking nuke them. That will be oh, joyful. Constellation. Is it warping in? Yeah, yeah. It's got a slow. Um. Uh, I'll I'll distract it. You full speed back speed? No, no, he's, he's basically. Alright, right. right. Hold him, hold him, hold him for a second. Yeah. yeah. Strike him with the iron. Dead. <laughs> Good kill. Going in for loot. Check it. Loot! <laughs> Check me loots! <laughs> the best eclipse pile in the verse. Well, there is a shipwreck here. With no box. No box? Ah, uh, boo. Maybe it was just an empty conning. Yeah, maybe it was just doing missions. Hey, Reform, thank you very much for the 19 months, dude. How you doing, Chief? <laughs> dude, that was so funny. <laughs> it's just stationary, it just gets fucking blapped. Blap! I know. I didn't, Chief. Work is paying off, yeah. That's good, Captain Cole, yeah. It takes a wee while with, like, joysticks and stuff. Good, going off, going FPV flying layer. Nice. What one do you have? Oh yeah, you do. You build your own. Never mind. Never mind. I know. I'm gonna just quickly rack up since I've got, since I've got so much money now, dude. I don't even care about fucking fiery torps. It's like, all right, 10k, no problem.
Oh, trying to DGI. Yeah, let me know how that goes, dude, because I was literally um, wanting to buy one myself. Avenger Titan Spine from Grim Hex. But obviously, it's quite a lot of money, but it is one on my list of things to, to buy. The one down below. Hey, Noxton, how you doing, Chief? Usually fly a DJI Spark for photo coverage, but I sold my FPV. So looking for a replacement. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to get that one purely because it's a. Uh, it would do what I need for the dogs, plus, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably gonna go and do mission running, though. Probably, yeah. Before I build an overkill uh, thing, I've flown one, but not the FPV. Are you going to be using the uh, joystick? The sort of like... Um, oh my god, you what? Oh, he's still there. Can't see shit. Let me be seen. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Oh, he's not. He's nearly dead. I'm like fading out. Step auction. Today, I swear, I killed two people now, and I never had a box or a corpse. Hmm. You can be There's scuffed. another ship, 17 million, is it 17 kilometers away from Grimax? Towards yellow? 110, there it is. Work with us. Yeah, fuck it. I'll try. We ain't killing that. You can try, but he's gonna be in the same zone. Oh, my tarp's not gonna go. Maybe it will. Fly like the wind, baby. Fly like the wind. <laughs> it's chasing. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. <laughs> Chase after him. He's flying away. He's <laughs> trying to shoot me. Is it? All right. <laughs> that fucking tarp was so good. <laughs> I was fucking seeking. Hey, it's yeah, Thank dude. you for the best, I guarantee you they took out that corpse's stay when you kill the ship. What the hell? Mm. Such an asshole. I guess that a lot. I didn't chief. That you target me? No. All right, incoming then. Somebody's target me. The fuckers are shooting my ship. A little twats. Uh, I don't know what. Hmm. My busy guards inside, target locking you, I don't know. Maybe, who knows. <laughs> I started reading that and I got two or three lines in before I realized. <laughs> he does these memes, man. You know, they could, they could have done it where you don't get any loot from white uh, drops now. Maybe. But, uh, we'll see. It's funny how I've got you pinned as zero. I believe zero. Oh, 
Oh, ship. Major Titan. Retaliator. Nice. Let me retaliate it. <laughs> yes. Bring your torps. Bring your fucking torps. Sure. Yeah, no, I couldn't find Badgers or Panthers anywhere. So I now I'm back at Orison. I'm gonna equip what I can because people probably. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, dude. Do you have guys' audio? Let's do an audio check. <clears throat> 